Hello, this is Justin from Auto Trading Academy. So in this video, we're going to look at the new Portfolializer tool that we created that essentially helps you create portfolios in a unique way using the StrategyQuant software and its export CSV file function for its strategies. Essentially, if you break this tool down, what it does is it helps you scan and find from a large sample of trading strategies. So it could be 2000 strategies, it could be 20, the ones that work well across many different markets, i.e. lots of different currency pairs or other instruments, whatever you want to sort of test. Essentially, it looks at which combinations of, let's say, these currency pairs work well on the same strategy. Because if you think about it, if you have 20 currency pairs and you could have a strategy that works well on any 10 of them, it could still be any combination of those 10 out of the 20. So that's what this tool does. It sort of looks at that those combinations, reveals to you which ones work well for all of the strategies that you want to sort of plug in there, you know, over that sample. So it could be a 2,000 strategy sample, it could be a 20,000 strategy sample. So that's sort of there to sum it up. So let's get into the steps of how to actually use this Portfolializer tool to find yourself these multi-market trading strategies. So the idea behind here is that first is to generate yourself a large sample of trading strategies using StrategyQuant software and then retest all those strategies in high accuracy mode, so preferably using Realtek data tests, so we can export this strategies into CSV file format and then upload it to Portfolioizer tool for further analysis. Now bear in mind that we have to retest all of those same strategies using lots of different currency pairs or instruments, so then we can analyze them and search for which combinations sort of work with which strategy. So let's get into the actual steps straight away from the strategy quant. So the first thing we want to do is open up strategy quant and we want to obviously import a lot of data. As you can see here, I have around 28 pairs of, of 20 currency pairs of tick data. Um, you could do this with one minute data if you wanted to save a lot of time as well. It wouldn't be as accurate, but you could effectively do this as well. And then we basically generate our sample of trading strategies. So here I'm just going to use a thousand as an example. You could use again 10, 20 or 5, whatever you wish. And uh, essentially use the random generation mode because it's the fastest. And I'm here, I'm going here for speed rather than, you know, very um, high quality tests like the minute data one or the real tech. So you could use bar open as well, depending on, again, on the type of strategies you're generating. So I'm going to do time frame only. I'm going to use it on pound yen and I'm just going to click generate and generate myself lots of these strategies. So imagine I've done that for a thousand and obviously I've already done this so I don't have to wait to fill up the, you know, my data bank. So I've got some you know, nice strategies in there probably somewhere or some bad ones. It really doesn't matter for me this much because I'm going to retest them all on lots of different pairs. So the next thing to do is to move them to the retest section for retesting using real tick data tests. So this is where we're going to get the high accuracy tests and we're going to do them for lots of different currency pairs. So effectively most of the time spent here is actually the preparation of the files that we're going to use for Portfolioizer later on. So most of the time you actually spend just retesting uh, doing real tick data tests but it's not so much of an issue because it's you don't have to think about it too much you just press um, re retest and, and that's it. So the next thing I do once I've moved everything to retest section is I'm going to choose the real tick data tests and just basically click retest. And once that's done, so imagine that it's done, I first I want to back up all my strategies, so make sure you do that. I'll, you can do this later as well at the end, um, so just make sure you save them somewhere. So, and uh, then we want to export all of these to a CSV file format. So here I've made a folder, Portfolioizer CSV, and I'm just going to call it pound the NCSV and then save it and, and so on. So once I've saved that and that's done, I'm going to move to the next currency pair and just choose maybe a pound dollar or something or, 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 or whatever, whatever currency pair you want to go next with. So essentially this is up to you. You could do 10, you could do 20. Obviously the more you do, the more effective the tool will be later on. And then just retest that and again save it to you know another currency pair and so on. So once you've done that, once you've saved all of these CSV file formats, um, your strategy is basically in CSV file format, you can uh, you need to basically zip it to an archive so you can upload it into Portfolio Liza. Now there's several ways of doing this. If you have 
WinRAR, you just click Add to Archive and call it, let's say, Test 1011 Pairs. So basically, I've done this for 11 currency pairs and use the zip format, or you just click, um, or you just simply click Send to Compressed Zip Folder and then call it again whatever whatever you wish. So I'm going to upload this file now to the Portfolioizer tool for further analysis. So let's go have a look at this. Upload new CSV pack and I'm going to call this should be a name here already test 1011 pairs so give 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 your CSV pack a name. Um, select the file. So very simple to use. Uh, make sure you press upload file and then you'll see it uploading here, 100% done. You can do multiple files here at the same time, by the way, if you have uh, you know, lots of different archives. And then click Create CSV Pack, and you'll see the success operation over here. And that means you can go to your CSV Pack list and see the um, CSV Packs you've uploaded. So you can see I have two of the same ones, so I can delete one actually now. And essentially, just click on that pack name and you have all of your CSV files now you can see be imported and it's showing you basically which ones you want to use and I want to use all of them you know you could you could deselect some you could not use some but essentially you you, you probably want to use all of them now if if we're generating with strategy one make sure you identify your strategies by generation so this is basically how the portfolioizer tool identifies all your strategies so it sort of looks at their ID, which is their strategy number and, uh, and sort of name. Now, the minimum in instruments in portfolio, you can toggle that and play around with that later. So let's just leave that at three for now. And the first thing, the most important thing I want to do is basically sec select the filter that I want to sort of filter through all these strategies. So I'm just going to choose, uh, let's say, net profit of greater than uh, zero. And... Uh, let's say stability of greater than or equal to 0.7 and I could choose another parameter maybe return to drawdown so let's do two at this time and click scan selected CSV files and you'll get an operation here that's success and now it's showing me all of these different strategies which again exist for all the currency pairs that I retested and showing me on which pairs um, does this strategy work according to my filtering parameters? So you can see I've got five pairs, I've got three pairs, and in this list I could potentially now just click here four, so minimum number of instruments four, and it would now only show me the ones that have four. So if I clicked five, now it would show me only the ones that have five, and so on. So all of these strategies here work uh, according to those ranking criteria on all of those instruments. Now if I hold my mouse over any of these symbols I can actually see the numbers net profit and stability on each instrument separately which is really convenient so you have to don't have to dig into the actual file and have a look. So that's that's basically how this works. So if I wanted to tighten my filter stability of 0.8 let's say I could do that and you can see I've only got three strategies that actually have a stability of 0.8 and in each currency pair and I can always check it if I want and then I could add for example let's add a return to drawdown ratio of at least uh, let's say two yeah click scan again okay now I got that down to just one strategy there's only one strategy out of those out of that thousand that I uploaded that works on five pairs it's got at least a return to drawdown of two and stability of 0.8 and you can have a look actually you know some of them might have a return to drawdown that's much higher but one of them could have a return to drawdown that's two and that's it and then it wouldn't you know go into this list anymore so I could relax my stability maybe a bit more here 0.7 see if I got more there oh now I've got two strategies and basically that's how you can play around with here now you need at least one criteria but either so you don't have to use all three of them but you can basically play around with and sort of find and pick the sort of portfolio that you want to have for your trading strategies. Um, so basically for the trading strategy, you want to sort of find that works on the most currency pairs and has basically good numbers. 
So let's pick something maybe we can find more currency pairs. Uh, stability ratio, let's see if we can find something that works on more. Stability ratio of five, so there really is quite a lot. And maybe six, see if we can find something with six currency pairs that has at least net profit above zero. Okay, so there's one that has seven. Um, now obviously when you when you do this and when you have 20 currency pairs imported, which I've done before, you can actually find strategies that work over let's say 11 or even like 14 different currencies and have really high stability for example, or have at least a return to drawdown of three. You can find a lot of these very uh, sort of multi-market strategies that, that are obviously relatively robust over different you know currency pairs which is obviously really hard to do if you were to retest all of these strategies one by one on each currency pair. So this is the advantage sort of of this tool is that you can quickly sort of scan and navigate this whole matrix of you know different possibilities and combinations of currency pairs on each strategy. So very, very useful in sort of picking out the, the strategies that work on lots of different pairs. And now we've got this one that works on seven different currency pairs it's got at least a net profit of zero, stability of pi five, and return to drawdown ratio of zero. So let's have a look of what the actual numbers are here. Obviously not that great at all. Um, really not that great, but I'm sure if I work this a bit harder, and, and if I put in 10,000 strategies in there maybe, on 20 different currency pairs, I'm sure I'd find something much, much better. So this is purely again on example sake. So maybe let's make this return to drawdown of one. Let's see how this list, yeah, that doesn't exist anymore straight away. So that's basically how this works. Uh, really not the best example here with just a thousand strategies. So the more strategies you put in and the more currency pairs, the more likely that you're gonna find something obviously that's working on a lot of pairs and it has good numbers. So I hope you guys enjoy this tool. And if you also, if you want to play around with the numbers even more, you can always download the results file and effectively have a look and toggle and play with the numbers yourself. And essentially what this does basically is it exports everything to a CS file so you can filter, you can play around with, you know, all the numbers you hear. So these are the strategies uh, for all those pairs. So that's one strategy and the numbers for all of those currency pairs. Um, and then that's uh, another strategy for all of those other different currency pairs. So that's how it basically works. So you can compare the numbers and so on. So if you want to play around with and do your own custom analysis, um, then basically you can do it here in, in the Excel file, which is very easy to do as well. So hope you guys are going to enjoy this tool and hope you find some good strategies in there. It'll be really interesting to see the test results of these portfolios because, you know, it's nice. You find one strategy that works on, let's say, 15 currency pairs. You've got a nice portfolio there with lots of trades and, you know, and good stats. And hopefully it's also very robust as well that, you know, because it's working on, on a lot of these different pairs. So that's it from me from today and I uh, hope you like this video and I'll see you in another one.